How to install and create account on Skype for iPad. This tutorial will show you how to download Skype for iPad, install it and create an account. Also, we will talk about the main settings of Skype for iPad. Now, we will download and install Skype for iPad. Let's open the App Store. Tap on the search from the bottom. Now on the search, write Skype and search the app. Near the app name, tap on the Get button. You might get a notice to log in with your fingerprint or password from Apple. Do that if your iPad asks that. Now Skype is downloading and after that we'll start the install process. After the install is complete, tap on Open on your iPad. To create an account or log in into your old account, tap Let's Go. Click Sign In or Create. You can write your email if you already have an account or click Create one for a new account. We will use a new account on Skype for iPad. On this page, you can use your phone number or email. I will use my email, so I will click Use your email instead, but you can also use your phone number. Write the email and tap Next. Write a new password and tap Next. Write your first name and last name and tap Next. Select your birthday and country. Now tap Next. Check your email for the code you receive. We will take the code and use it on the Skype app. Write the code and tap Next. Now write this CAPTCHA code so you can finish creating the account. Select the default theme, light or dark. Do not worry too much as you can change this quite easily in the future. Now Skype would like to access your contacts. I suggest tapping on OK. Tap OK. Tap OK to allow Skype to access the camera. Allow Skype to access the microphone. Tap OK. Tap OK to allow Skype to send you notification. You have now created an account on Skype for iPad. Let's check a bit the settings we have for Skype to understand the software better. On the bottom, you have the following sections. Chat, Calls, Contacts, Notifications. Also, on the top right, you can create a Meet Now call and you can share the link to allow others to join. Also, you can create a new chat, a new group or a new private chat. Tap on Calls. You can tap on the dial pad to be able to write a number to call. If you wish to see your contacts, tap on the contacts from the bottom. Another thing you can do is to tap on the profile picture. The round part from the top. Here we have the status, Skype profile and settings. If you tap on active, you can change your status. Also you can share what you're up to. You can tap on Skype profile to update your name and image. Let's tap on settings on iPad. Here you have lots of options on the settings for Skype for iPad. On account and profile, you have option to edit your profile picture, edit your email and birthday. Also you can add funds and manage how you are seen on Skype. If you click on the profile picture zone, you will be able to change the picture and set up who views your profile picture, public or only contacts. This option depends only on you and how you set it up. If you wish to have better privacy, I suggest you set it up only for contacts. If you click on your profile, you will be redirected to your Skype account on your current browser. Here, you can manage your account and subscription. 
Now let's tap on General. Here you can set up your language. Also you can modify the translation settings. On the appearance you can change the theme for the Skype for iPad. You can use light or dark theme. Also you can select the primary color depending on how you like it. On calling you have an exciting option. Tap on call subtitles. Here you can set up to show subtitles for all calls. This will help you much if you do not hear well. The last part of the settings is messaging and notification. You can check these options to see what is the best fit for you. If this was useful, please like, share and subscribe. You can also watch more videos from the right. Also, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments area below.